Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Sumeria, where we're trying out this new mod, this whole modded series. Well, I say, I say it's a new mod. It's a, it's, it's new to me, because I haven't played with it before. So we're farting around, we're having a good time. And, uh, you know, we're dropping fisheries. Um, okay, so what we want to do is we want to do a search for luxury resources. In particular, we want to look for the luxury resources that are on my continent. So where's Amber, actually, out of curiosity? So I don't think we'll be able to get a monopoly on Amber. Uh, what about Turtles? Turtles will also probably be pretty hard to get a monopoly on. Yeah, Turtles is way too distributed throughout the world. It would be hard to get a monopoly. I mean, it could be done. It could be done, but it's unlikely that we will make it happen. Now, tobacco, on the other hand, uh, let's drop the turtles in Amber. And we can see we've got a tobacco here. One, two, three, four, five. Six is Caguana. And seven up here. So we've, we can almost get a full monopoly of tobacco. Um, I think wine is also on the cards. If we can get this wine here, we have four of seven. So one, two, three, four. So where's the rest? There's one down here in Caguana. I'm tempted to kill Caguana for those two luxuries. It's not even that good of a city-state, honestly. I'm going to do a search for wine. There's one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. Ah, Cahokia has one of the wines. So I'd want to get suzerainty of Cahokia if we could. But I, I think I will have to kill Caguana here. It has two luxuries that I want. We need to flip Paria, which probably means force and growth into Sousa. We also want to get the salt over here. So let's have a little bit of a look for salt. So we found six. One here, one here, one there. That's three, four, five, six. So we have most of them. We just need Chikuto to flip. We could potentially make Chikuto to flip, depending on if we can get a settler or two down here just to claim this land. Definitely need to force growth into Kitukara and Cusco. So that's the general plan is we're looking for a monopoly. All right, let's plant some farms here in the city of Cusco. This city is focused on food and growth, so it should reach that level pretty quick. We also have to piece out the Incan Empire. Now, Kitakara, we absolutely want to grow this city as much as we can, which means we're going to focus on food. Now, what could we build here? We could build cigarettes. We could build bases. We could plant woods. I don't think it makes sense to plant farms here, although there is a farm triangle here, technically. So in terms of religion, we have spread our religion to the majority of our empire. There's a couple of little holdouts around that need to get inquisitored, um, but we have some inquisitors floating around. I don't know if I need to kill Caguana because I don't know if if I'm suzerain of them, do I get their do I get their luxuries? It's an open question. Um, but I think I am for the sake of simplicity, I'm just gonna kill them. I think killing them makes my life simpler. I don't have to worry about like, oh, does that work or not? Blah 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 blah. And I think I would like to kill the Zulu as well. But that would probably require a serious level of airplanes that I I'm not quite prepared to do. Um, and I would like to change my government. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over and start researching democracy. I definitely don't feel like conquering the world. I don't feel like doing a science victory. I think I'd like to try to do the luxury resource thing and see if we can't just like buy all the great works we need. Like your great works have been purchased. You can buy your landscapes. Uh, what about religious artwork? What about artifacts? Oh, you can buy that artifact. What about music? Oh yeah, we can buy a ton of music. Uh, we're up to a very, very healthy 3,740. Uh, so I guess we just go through and we just start planning cities one by one. Also, Coco is here. We're going to tell the city to focus on food production and we'll start laying down lumber mills. Also, I think it would be good if I started getting some of these mountain ranges improved. Um, there is a nice national park here, but nobody can actually own it, can they? Oh, they can. Let's go into... Well, I guess I'll buy this from Babanango. I'll buy the naturalist and pop it in there. So Babanango's planned... Pin Guinator is planned as far as I'm concerned. Has a fairground. Don't think I really need to put other districts in here. So the city of Winuku does not have an industrial zone. Could have one though. So I could fit in there nicely. What other tiles do we want to do? Well, anything beyond this doesn't make sense. This could be a farm for the city. Make it nice and growthy. Put another farm in there. What do we got here? Well, in theory, this could also be a farm triangle. Although, do I really want to put farm triangles in here? You know, I don't hate it. Farm triangles are rare, plus the city already has decent production over here. Growing beard is just going to be getting a whole bunch of neighborhoods on these blank tiles when it's done. Uh, the city of Sousa, on the other hand, this is a city that requires some planning. So it has basically all the districts, like commercial hub, a theater square, um, cistern, fairgrounds, harbor. It has it all. So we really just need to figure out how to get it, like, some improvement. Well, I, I totally think there's room for a couple of farms here. 
because that this just feeds off this whole thing. And then I think a mine right there would be nice for that industrial zone. I guess there is a farming resource right there. So we could do a little farm triangle here. And then I guess that would extend to this. A lumber mill right there isn't the worst. And then probably a lumber mill right there. So we've planned out that city. Uh, when it comes to over here, though, who owns these tiles? Okay, so this looks like it's split between a whole mess of different cities. So I think these will just be lumber mill filler tiles. Uh, Cusco, I've already decided upon. Kitukara, I definitely think there could be a couple of farms out here on the western side to give the city the ability to grow. Um, would love to flip those tiles. Can't quite flip them at the moment. This is almost certainly a lumber mill. Um, and then all of its tundra tiles will just be lumber mills because I don't really see anything else you can do with this land that's out on the tundra. Now we might, we, this might all change based on like my later experience in the game because I don't really know how the game, I don't really know how the late game of this mod works, but I do know that I need a bunch of builders over here on this side. So Cusco has been planned. Cachamarca probably could be planned. It has an aerodrome and a campus, which really doesn't feel like an interesting set of districts. I mean, it's interesting in a kind of like interesting choice kind of a way, but not in like a, like this is, a, this is an interesting city. This has been designed in a well and meaningful way. So I think an obvious change here that we can make are some farm triangles. And yeah, the Kogi amounts are fine, but I mean, you only really build them for the amenities and we can get amenities from other places. I will take a great rider though. So we'll do a little bit of farming over here and we'll put a lumber mill up on that hill. I do think this is a city that could make use of a cistern as well as an industrial zone. I don't know if a dam will go there. Okay, dam industrial or a cistern industrial zone. We could probably do lumber mill right there. Probably do lumber mills all along here, unless we want to do rice paddies. The city does have rice as an option. Let's just go with the lumber mills. I think I prefer the lumber mills around this. It feels a little nicer. We have plenty of food coming up from here. We do want to focus on food and production. I want to grow these cities. You might be wondering why hasn't he put the lumber mill sign on the existing forests? It's because I'm going to chop them. Okay, so that's Cashamarca plant. That's Kitukara plant. We're mainly focusing on growth and production to get these cities up and running into something that's useful. A little bit of a messy situation here. Probably going to chop that stone to make an industrial zone. Probably going to put a harbor here. Would put a amusement pier there in Rosa Parda. Although maybe I'll move the amusement pier to the other side. We're definitely going to be putting fishing boats here. And then when you build fishing boats, you want to put fisheries adjacent to them to get the extra growth, production, gold, all that stuff. And that's kind of similar over here. There's definitely fishing boats going there. And then as a result, there will be fisheries going all around that fishing tile. Definitely want fisheries all along here. Delete these. Probably can make a fishery there too. Uh, well, actually, you know, we could just go hard on fisheries in this area. That is exactly what we are going to be doing. There's going to be a big focus in our empire on developing these particular things. Now, the city of Peace Act, so we're focusing on just developing our coastal infrastructure. We could definitely put a fishery here. I'm just doing a little bit of planning, mainly to kind of sort things out in my own head about like, what do I need to prioritize? And right now I need a lot of builders to make up for you know, my empire's lack. My empire is in a big lack phase right now. No, I don't even know what I could do at Marad, but I know I can do a lot of fishing, so that's what I'm going to stick to. I'll try to get some builders over there. Uh, need a ton of builders in this land. Um, look at a P-Sack. I mean, there is a farm triangle here, but ew, do I really want to do that? I, I definitely think uh, these tiles are this. Lumber mill. We'll just lumber mill this up. You have coastal food. Uh, it makes sense for this to be a mine and for this to be a lumber mill. That's my focus. God, I don't even know what to do with this city. Well, I guess in theory, we could go with a um, amusement pier. Amusement Pierre. Bonjour. I like the Cahokia amount, don't get me wrong, but it's just, I just don't see it as a necessary thing. It's not a, it's not required. Fishing boat, fishery over there. Um, looking great. Looking great. We got the hangar in Mayorn. Let's see, plus 5% faith in the city or plus one faith from each great work. I like the great work idea. Let's get that. So we'll go for the Hospitium. I definitely think we go for the cabinet. Still need to place a neighborhood in here and also we need to build this sanctuary well we'll just we'll just let those things build through we don't need that many builders over here but i tell you what i'm just going to fill the rest of my construction queue with builders because i i just i need a lot of builders right now to to, to bring this new section of my empire online we may also need settlers to fully capture all this oil and stuff like that who knows right we just it's it's an unknown right now now we got the factory and growing beard and just to help out 
with my situation, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get builders in there. Just a whole stack of them. Why don't you go ahead and build me a manufactory media center in Wanuku is finished. And again, this is just like get a whole mess of builders. Like it's just a mess of them. I want to be able to fill my entire empire with builders. That's all. Because I don't really need infrastructure right now. What I need is to get my empire up and running. Like my empire is up and running. Don't get me wrong, but it could be. It could be way more productive. It could be way more growthy. It could be way more girthy. That's what your mom said. Oh, wait a minute. Oops, a good thing for a mom to say. All right, we'll pop a little, little farm in here. Nice, we got suffrage. Uh, we have access to democracy, the finest hour, new deal. We will go ahead and switch to democracy because we're not looking to do any military stuff. I, I mean, we could always, we can always think about it and um, we'll be getting into the ultra late game. But I think we want liberalism, we want Republican legacy, we want anything that gives us amenities. Um, so New Deal is fantastic here. Plus four housing, plus two amenities to all cities with at least three specialty districts. Extra yields. Oh, plus one food to all tiles adjacent to a cistern, dam, canal, or neighborhood. This would give you a lot of gold and culture. Great work, tourism. I mean, this is pretty good base tourism. Ooh, 150 tourism from that is super nice. Colonial offices, I'm pretty happy about. I think... Taking Merchant Confederation here is good, but I also kind of want to get open, you know, gunboat diplomacy. I'm going to drop colonial offices and I'm going to drop this. And instead, I'm going to go for Hastiltude for that extra, those extra few amenities. And e-commerce is fantastic. Do not get me wrong, but I do not have anywhere I can fit it into my government. I'm going to pick up ecotourism because I like that a little bit of, I like that trickle of tourism that comes from that. That's fun. That's cute. That's awesome. Um... Put some cultures on camps, pastures, and plantations. What is confusing? Ah, oh, this is an industry. It's no longer a camp or a pasture or a plantation. Interesting. Uh, we don't care about class struggle. We're going to grab social media and near future governance. Uh, we have access to the windmill in the Silver Outlaw. Uh, in terms of planning this city, it is missing a amusement period of fairground. A civic square too. Well, it's actually got the civic square. It just hasn't been built. Kind of neat. So we'll... Probably focus on building the industrial zone. So I'll take the manufactory. It's a nice bit of production. We got a builder over here in Sousa. We can start to fill in those things. Sousa, why don't you get me another builder? Uh, Kitukura, go ahead and shoot him. Uh, you step into the city and then shoot him twice. We will make him go away. Okay, airports are done in here. Plus one trade route capacity, B. 25% uh, tourism pressure from the city towards other civilizations in the modern era. Oh. Yield and tourism bonuses are extended to all city centers within six tiles. This bonus applies once to, ev to a city and multiple copies does not apply. Oh, if the city also has a hangar, it allows the ability to airlift units between fully developed aerodrome districts after rapid deployment is... Oh, airports are tourism bombs. I had no idea. Also, we can make a souvenirs factory. Its production and culture bonus is extended to all city centers within six tiles that do not already have a bonus from a product creating building. Allows the city to create products based on the souvenirs resource. 25% tourism pressure from the city towards other civilizations in the modern era, but it lowers your amenities. Interested in the souvenir thing. Um, okay, there's social media. Products have deck up tourism. Very cool. Online communities could be useful, although I don't think I'm trading with that many different people. Um, I would need to trade with France and the Inca. Maybe not. What if I were to... Um, I think we're going to drop liberalism. Um, we're going to take heritage tourism. That's base tourism. Now these other ones, I just can't, I can't get rid of anything. All right, let's claim a great musician. We've got the trade dock over here. We can go for the entrepot. So let's go ahead and peace out Patch Cutie. We're going to take all of his cities. We're going to take all of his money, all of his great works. Okay, maybe, maybe the great work is a little too far, but we'll take everything else. And uh, so we took all of his cities. So now they should start flipping. We are getting closer and closer to that flippage. So you've built all your builders, which means you should focus on some other things. Now, Cusco, have you actually built a neighborhood? You have not built a neighborhood, but you could. You also haven't built your cistern. So let's focus on building up the cistern. I'm going to assign Pingala back to my capital because he got killed out of there, which, you know, hurt my science a little bit. We're over a thousand culture per turn, which means someone needs to be making 10 tourists a turn to beat us. We are making a lot of tourists per turn, like an absurd amount. Um, so really, all we got to do is chill. Um, and hope no one wins a science victory. And we should we should win this game pretty handily. I'm going to go ahead and take Caguana on. But declare war on Caguana. Yes, I know I am technically their ally. Don't care. Didn't ask for your opinion. Also, L plus ratio. All right, let's convert this city to what is happening. Excellent. 
Great job. I would like you to... Ah, polygraph. Excellent. So he will provide extra spy power to all of my spies. Uh, my destroyer, I don't have a use for that right now. So I'm just going to let him sleep. And as we talk, like, our cities are going to develop now. There's going to be a lot of changes. All right, we put the very nice uh, ski resort here. Now, we were also building the national park. Excellent, that's plus three era score. I mean, in theory, we could make another national park in and around here if we really, really, really wanted to. I don't think we're going to bother. Um, I think instead we're going to prioritize getting the mountains improved with the things that give tourism. Okay, nice. Generating 42 tourism from this national park. It's inside Mayorn. That's really wholesome. Really awesome. Now, I don't think going for um, rock bands at this point in the game will be particularly useful because I feel like it's a little bit too late in the game. People are going to have music censorship. They're going to have the ability to stop me. So I just, that just doesn't feel right to me. Okay, 1,280 gold from the city of Leeds. Let's advance the artillery and the Balloon. We repaired, basically repaired Kitukara. Let's get ourselves, we'll just, we're just going to be building a few builders while we're doing the repairs and stuff like that. Um, I think I'm going to purchase a shipyard in here. I'm going to plan the city a little bit better. I got a little bit of a yield, yield bug. Is that really a four food tile? No, it's a two food tile. So why is the UI being weird? But we can do some proper planning in here now. So we know this is going to be a fishing boat. We know these are going to be fisheries. We can buy a builder in here and we'll grab ourselves a seaport for the trading gold. City of South is going to take this tile and then put a neighborhood on it. We are the knights who say nay. So looking at Antiawala, I'm going to get myself one more builder out of this city to get these tiles improved. Juan Kambamba Bamba. Uh, go ahead and get yourself a builder. It's all starting to happen now, which should really make the viewer quite happy to see such a cool, a cool impia. Um, technologist. I'll take this for rocketry. He's max level now. We're going to keep making these things. Loving it. Loving that tourism. Oh, yeah. All right, let's uh, do a little harvest here. Get that builder out of his current sooner. Honestly, I have no idea where to send this rider. So I'm just going to tell him to go to sleep. Yeah, we've got a ton of mountains we need to improve. Also, some chocolate up here to improve. You go back to counter spying on my gold district because that's where people are stealing from me. Ooh, my little artillery took a bit of damage. Oh, no. Zulu, what are you doing with this settler? Get out of here. You're crazy. You're crazy. All right, we'll blast the city once, twice, three times the city. Kill him. Kill him, and then kill him. So we'll take Kaguana next turn. Ooh, 25% tourism rate to other civilizations you have a trade route to. Perfect. Big fan of that. I don't know. I don't even know where she went. Uh, we got another builder in here. I don't know how many builders we're going to need in this city, but I reckon one more will be safe. All right, this city is now fully repaired. We can get to work on builders. Okay, exit trade route. And a tourism boost. Let's go to Trade Hub. Pop down here, but buy one, two, and three more traders. So bring us up to our trade limit of 20. Kind of absurd. Um, we're currently losing 1,482 to deals. So we should be getting pretty close to some of those deals expiring. I think that's all the great works that we bought. All that money that we exchanged for those great works. Which have been paying dividends, don't get me wrong. Okay, so the city of Gabriel, Gabriel, uh, I don't remember having this many tiles from the city of Gabriel. I think it's because somebody killed the city, of, uh, whatever there was a city here died, I think it was. Yeah, that seems familiar. All right, so I definitely think sister in here will put a farm up there. I definitely think an industrial zone. Quarries are only plus one, so I don't mind killing a quarry and just putting a mine there and then a lumber mill there. These are the sort of things that we're going to be doing. Definitely want a plantation there. Definitely want a farm over there. Chop. I don't even know where that chop production went. Probably because it was a planted forest. Oops, should probably double check that whenever I'm chopping. I just assumed because it was already there. Let's make an industry. Okay, so we've got the machines factory. We've got infantry. we got this. Upgrades farm improvements. Opera house is completed, which does have room for great works of writing. So I can pop you down there. I think I'll go for the Museum of Archaeology. Because I do need to get an archaeologist to clear out some of the tiles in my empire. Uh, we got the manufactory in the Silver Outlaw. The factory gives scaling production based on population. And the chemical plant gives scaling production based on strategic resources. I don't see enough. I mean, there are two strategic resources in the city, I suppose. So that would be a 10% production boost in the city versus a very small production boost from population. And we could yoink this nicer as well, which would give us a 15% production uh, boost in the city, which honestly is now starting to sound insanely good. Uh, the way I like to think about a 5% improvement is it's like 
that's a plus one on a on a on a dice, on a d twenty. You know what I'm saying? D and D a plus one's a big deal over you know a certain number of of, uh, of rolls. So do I have trading range to France? No, but I almost do. Almost. I, I technically I could trade with them, but I don't care. All right, we're looking for gold. Oh wow, our trade routes to trade routes to Guitars are insane. Lumber mill and a lumber mill. We're looking pretty happy. What do we got here? So near future governance awards governor title envoys. We could go for cultural hedge money. Minus ten percent tourism doesn't feel great. Corporate libertarianism. This feels very militaristic maybe we'll go for digital democracy plus two amenities in all cities uh, plus two culture per specialty district that actually feels amazing i'm going to go for digital democracy we got the media center in gabrielle so we do have room for a lot of great works in music and we should totally be looking to buy those and also sell off our luxuries we should be looking to buy those great works because eventually the AI won't sell them to us. Buy your great works of writing. How do you feel about artifacts? What about religious landscape? Okay, so I don't think there's much else to buy. I mean, we do have most of the great works in the entire world. Like if I just turn off this art filter and scroll through, you can see just how absurdly huge my collection is. I have 106 great works, uh, making over 700 tourism per turn. Um, so the city at Gabrielle does not have a neighborhood built into it. Neither does it have its cistern. So I'm going to place the cistern. Um, I'm going to place the industrial zone. And I'd like a neighborhood. I reckon I'll put one right there. And that should be fine. I'm going to work on the industrial zone first. Because that's where production comes from. I'm going to tell the city focus on food and production. That's your focus. And we'll eventually get builders over there. In fact, I have builders coming from the capital. So we got another builder in Sousa, which I think means the city has now finished building builders. Um, and we can focus on getting things like the manufactory to keep verticalizing the city's infrastructure. I will go ahead and finish the military academy, however. Uh, seaport completed in Pahanda. Let's go for the amusement pier. I do think that the city actually could also justifiably build like at least two builders. Like we've got fishery here. A lot of potential fisheries in this city. In terms of governor titles, I don't really see very good ones, but I mean, I guess I will promote Magnus. Industrialist isn't bad. And I guess I could, in theory, reassign him to the city that's producing all the stuff right now, which is Antiawala. Uh, so if I put him in here and he has the industrialist perk, he will increase the power provided. So he's 25% more efficient at generating power, which means we technically have to burn less coal. And we are burning like 16 coal right now, which doesn't feel amazing. Also, we don't have any power in the north, but we'll, 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 we'll get to all that. All right, let's go ahead and improve the tobacco. I think that's a total monopoly on that resource now, I think. Yeah, 100% monopoly on tobacco, which should mean like a serious tourism. Yeah, we're up to 340% tourism from resource monopolies. I like that. That's fun. Amenities are a little low in my empire right now. I wouldn't say they're giga low, but they're just a little low. So I think there will have to be some work I have to do to, to make it better. There's chemistry. We now have access to the fertilizer plant as well as the hospital, um, which is a... a Mutually exclusive with the recycling plant. Gives science bonus to specialists, plus one. And plus one housing per neighborhood in the city if the city is powered. Very cool. We're getting into some pretty cool late game stuff. We could go for computers here. Give us the ability to make the electronics factory. Plus the 25% tourism boost across our empire would be nice. Institute of Technology. Flood Barrier Electronics Factory. Community College. Electronics gives a little bit of science. Culture and faith. Okay, we got a seaport. Um, in Trade Hub. The marketing ag agency could be huge. Plus one appeal in every tile seems kind of cute. Gold from every great work. This is just straight up 10% gold in the city, which makes the stock exchange hard to turn down if it's just literally, here's 10% gold. Stock exchange it is. That 10% gold is just too, too big to turn down. Okay, we completed the manufacturing in Nina. Uh, this city does have one strategic resource, so that would be a 5% production boost versus... A trickle of production per citizen. I'm trying to do the math in my head. I think a 5% boost is just really good. Actually, almost always better than the, the factory. I think I would like to grow the city of Nina, which makes me want to build Orchard. Even though technically I think the forge is better. I don't plan to use the militaristic bonuses though is the problem. So I think we'll go for the Orchard. Builder completed in Antiawalia. Um, which means we can get to work on quite a few different things. More or less finished the construction of this city's tiles. So I'll get myself one more builder out of there because the excess build charges will go to cities in need. It makes it sound like a charity program when I'm just moving production around my empire, really. This is old growth. Old growth must be destroyed. 
Second growth can be capped. Why do I destroy old growth? It's in my nature to get that nature out of my empire. Oh, forest fire, run! Pinky Nature has built a neighborhood. I'm gonna go ahead and build the transit station in here. I guess I could, in theory, I could get a cistern at this late stage as well. I'll place the cistern, but I'll build the transit station because that'll give me a little bit of yields across the board. Um, another build that was finished in Babanango. I think I like the bathhouse. I think I'll go for the orchard because I want that growth. So we'll chop that out. Uh, we'll chop, 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 there's the orchard. Uh, I'm going to get myself the hydroelectric dam because I, you know, I like having production. We got the aquatic center in Wyatt. We could build the neighborhood. It would give us more things for our citizens in the city to do, which I'm down to, to build. Also, I'm probably close to getting things like seasteads and battery stations, all that stuff into the, the late game economy. So right now I'm just exploring the features of the mod. And uh, just kind of enjoying the sort of Zen garden aspect of cultivating a empire and civilization. And it really does have that kind of Zen garden feel to it because I make a decision and then I walk away from it. I, I, I place a thing, it's built, and then I'm done, right? And that's, that's, the, that's the appeal of placing the pins and building towards a build, you know? It feels Zen and sort of... It's just peaceful, you know, to sit here and improve all these tiles. And just talk talk about random stuff. We could talk about anything. We could talk about girls. You want to talk about, we want to talk about boys? Um, judging by the demographics of my channel, while there are a significant number of you who are women, it's like 4%, uh, the overwhelming majority of people are male. Um, and the overwhelming majority of people are hetero. So... Oh, yawning. Um, prob prob probably people want to talk about girls or about how they've given up on love. Here's the thing that baffles me. How do you guys feel about touchy-feely people? Okay, digital democracy. Hold on one second. Uh, plus two amenities, plus two culture in specialty district, minus three combat strength for all units. Because I, I don't want to say I'm having a disagreement with someone, but I've had this disagreement before. And we'll discuss this in a moment after I finish my government. So we've got satellite broadcasts. We're going to have heritage tourism. Uh, we definitely still want the builder card because we're still in that process. We definitely want to keep New Deal. That's one of the things the mod does, by the way. It lets you keep New Deal when you go to this thingy. I don't need International Space Station. Market economy could be cool. It's not necessary. Where's my builder card? There it is. Public works. Boom. We definitely want public works. We have our two tourism cards. It would be nice to have online communities. I feel like this should be a green card. Mentally, this should be a green card, in my in my opinion, because it has to do with trade routes. It's it's a tourism-related thing. It should fit in here. But, you know. Ooh, collective activism. I'm going to be raw. I think I need the International Space Station. I need that science, actually. Uh, Yeah. I think I'm pretty happy with this situation. I would love to plug in e-commerce. So, the problem is so many of these policy cards are awesome and I just, I can't afford them. I can't afford to put them in. I don't have the room. There's so many that are good. So we got our government. Let's go for cultural hedge money. See what else we can we can pick up here. Uh, chemical plant completed in here, giving us that lovely 15% boost. Now, do I want to build, what kind of plant do I want to build? So we built a chemical plant, which would allow us to build a fertilizer plant. And I'm okay with building a fertilizer plant in here. I didn't realize building a factory would be necessary for me to build machine parts. It's an important piece of information that the game didn't tell me. So the logistics center stands in contrast to things. I'm going to go for the oil power plant in here. Um, I need to find more oil. I think some of my oil got destroyed. So oil down there. Oil and oil and oil and oil and oil and oil and I think I might buy a settler plonk right there. Our gold um, commitments are starting to come back. We're starting to actually, uh, it's down to only 1,300 now. And we're continuing to sell things. All right, let's see. Any aluminum buyers? There are aluminum buyers out there. Well, I am losing coal. It's kind of slow, so I don't mind, like, selling it. Niter, I have plenty of. No buyers for niter. Don't want to sell oil. Don't mind selling uranium because we're not using it yet. So getting that into the hands of other players seems like it would be fun. Wasn't even looking at the price I was getting because I just don't care. Granary completed in Gordon R, but not. Definitely could use a builder in here. Will a builder ever come out of that city before the end of the game? Who knows, honestly, at this point. But definitely this city is seeing a severe, severe growth boom as these builders come through. 
All right, you do a little chop there. More builders have popped out. There's a wave of builders scampering across my empire like a plague of locusts. But it's really satisfying. It's a really satisfying plague of locusts because instead of destroying things, they're actually building things, which is a lot more fun than the locust way of doing things. So apparently France declared war on me. That's baffling. Um, thanks, France. Oh, my alliance with the Cree ran out. Uh, I don't understand it. My alliance with the Cree ran out, and I'm kind of okay with that. I don't need them anymore. Me and Guitars are ride or die, though. Uh, it would be nice to get the nuclear power plant because it's a efe really efficient way to convert um, resources into energy. All right, we'll buy that fishing tile, drop another fishing boat. Why don't you go ahead and build me a builder to help out those other cities? But anyway, look at the city. It's making 58 gold per turn. It's got good growth. It's continuing to develop. It's not the greatest city I've ever produced, but, it, but it's reasonably good. Nice, we've got a preserve in Hamazi. Let's grab that sanctuary. It'll take a little bit of time to be built, but it will give us a nice yield from those tiles. We've got the manufactory in Sousa. Um, there is a strategic resource here, but I'm going to go for the factory. We've got the cistern in Cusco. I'm going to grab myself an orchard to continue to grow. Uh, Juan Cabamba built a builder, which means another builder is incoming. God, I have such a huge empire. It's actually absurd. I don't think it's yet gotten to the like, unmanageable level. Also, we're getting a lot of tourists every turn. It's really, really nice. And I haven't even really been optimizing for it. If I was optimizing for it, we probably would have won by now. Because I'm just, I'm fooling around, which is a nice place to be. It, this, this game felt really good. It had like an interesting, you know, arc of exploration and possibilities. I don't yet know how I feel about the mod. I feel like it added something. Some of the features of the mod are kind of cool. Some are, maybe, um, all right. Plus one error score. Right, let's go ahead and purchase ourselves an archaeologist. I need to sort out my oil situation too. So in Kitukara, I'll buy a settler. Oh, I just barely spent a little bit too much cash. Hold on. Let me sort that problem out. Boom, there's the settler coming down here to grab all this oil. Um, Old Red is kind of an interesting, if weird, city. Because we never built a cistern. Like, with so much undeveloped infrastructure in here. Food production focus probably would have been helpful at some point in the, in the past. Yeah, let's get the industrial zone up and the cistern. Industrial zone completed in Gabriella. This industrial zone is on a hill next to a river. So I think water mill is fine. I think water mill is slightly better. Then windmill. Windmill can be made to work. Uh, we've got the cruise terminal here in test questions. Let's go for the amusement pier to get amenities and tourism. we got a builder in Antiwalia. I don't think Antiwalia needs any more builders. We could go for the machine parts factory. Plus one production to all improved tiles in the city. I definitely feel like that could be a cool move. So we'll go for the machine parts. Allow us to manufacture machines and move them around my empire. Oh yeah. Touchy-feely people. I've, I, I meant to ask. Like, how do you feel about touchy-feely people? I'm not a touchy-feely person. And so touchy people, like, I don't touch anyone, okay? I hug my family. I hug my friends. I might tap someone to get their attention, but I would never, like, link arms with them or cuddle them. And supposedly there's people out there that do that. I think that's weird. I think it's weird. I think it's weird. I think most people think it's weird. And when I say weird, I don't mean, like, listen, you do you, champ. You want to cuddle? Knock yourself out, okay? But like, I wouldn't want to be cuddled by someone I wasn't like in a relationship with. Like, at the very least, a physical one. Doesn't have to be a romantic one. So that would weird me out if someone tried to. If someone, like, if you want to give me a little arm squeeze when I'm sad, go for it. If you want to give me a little, you know, a hug that lingers just for a little bit, a little bit longer because we haven't seen each other in a while. Go for it. Don't, don't like, don't put your hand on my knee. Don't, don't touch. Don't like try to hold my hand. I just, I, I feel weird about it. I feel weird about it. And it's a boundary that I have. And it makes me feel weird if I see other people who aren't dating doing it. Because now I'm like, well, those guys are fucking, you know? I just, it's just, am, is this like, am I, I don't think I'm crazy. I think this is a pretty... It's a pretty normal. I think that's a pretty normal assumption to make. If you see two people like cuddling and holding hands, and I would, this stems from an argument I had, where I'm like, listen, it's totally cool if you want to cuddle with someone and get your cuddles and all that sort of stuff. But listen, if you do that, I have a right to feel weird about it and just be like, 
I don't like it. That, like, you do you. I'm not going to judge you. You know, living your life. Live your best life. But if you're doing it around me or so on and so forth, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna be like, that's, that's a little weird. But not like bad weird. Just like that's unusual and not something I want to partake in. Not in the kind of like, ooh, that's weird and people shouldn't do it kind of way, you know? It's, it's a little it's a little odd. It's a little unusual. And this, this stems from an argument that I've had where someone was saying, well, people should be able to cuddle each other. Yeah, they should be able to. But listen, way too many people, people get mixed up in feelings, people make assumptions, people, people get the wrong message. You always have to be thinking about the message you're sending out. And this is something I learned, is that I was sending the wrong messages to people, to my actions. I'm not communicating my intent correctly. Once I learned how to, how to, how to co communicate my intent with people, like uh, this, specifically this can, this can go around for dating. Once I learned how to communicate my intent, I got what I wanted for my relationships a lot more. I'm like, hey, I want to be friends with you. But the problem is the other person isn't always honest. <laughs> and so I don't think friends, listen, maybe there's, a, maybe there's people out there that can, that can hold hands and cuddle and it's all above board. I think I would develop feelings. I think it would be weird. They would, I would be worried that someone would develop feelings and I would make it weird. That's just my take. Okay, transit station completed. Let's get the cistern in here. I don't know, dude. How do you guys feel about touchy-feely? What are your boundaries around being touched? There's a question. Uh, so we could build a sewer here. It will lower our gold income, but the city makes good gold. Um, but it will give us housing, which is nice. Do we need that housing, really? Let's focus on growth, I think. Yeah, we'll focus on growing. I like the citizen yields here, plus two citizen slots as well. It makes the cistern a really good growth source. It'll get even better soon. Orchard plus sewer equal lots of growth. But yeah, I don't know, man. I am honestly, I didn't know touchy-feely people really existed. I, there's part of me that suspects they're made up. I think it all looks like flirting to me. And so that's when I'm like, and they're like, oh no, they're just really close friends. I'm like, mm, I don't know, man. That's not what my radar says. My radar says, that's what I do with your mom. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think I can calibrate away from that because that's just what that means. Um, and this is honestly, this is actually loops into a very conf a very confusing new world that we live in because I feel like I spent most of my life learning all the rules that everyone was playing by and then a whole fucking bunch of people introduced a whole bunch of new rules that I never understood, that were never discussed with me. I started learning how to, and honestly, here's the thing, the things I learned were working. It's like, hey, listen, if somebody's interested in you, they'll make time for you, okay? That's an intent thing. So, you know, and the inverse is that true. If somebody's not making time for you, they're not into you. And it's it's kind of one of those things where it's like, and then this starts to become prescriptively useful. It's like, don't spend time on people if you don't want to give them the wrong idea, right? These are like rules I learned. And I feel like, I feel like I'm talking to people sometimes and they never learned these rules. And I thought everyone had learned these rules because this is like, Step one of socialization is learning these kind of like, well, not step one, but you know what I mean? It's, it's like, it's one of the prerequisites to having a successful social life is learning these guidelines, these rules on how to maintain just enough distance, how to get intimacy in your relationships without overstepping comfort zones of everyone involved. And then I took some time away from socializing with people for like, and when I say some time, I mean like, like years. I spent years not socializing with people and now nobody follows those rules anymore. <laughs> I'm like, well, I, mean, I, I learned all these rules and now they don't work. What's happening? Okay, so Wixit has a monument, shipyard and Chipot Haven. I think I'd like to buy the shipyard and then I'd like to build the amusement pier in here. Not for any particular reason, just because it seems like a reasonable choice. Also, we're missing two fisheries over here. Um, Kitukara. How's it going there, chief? Laboratory, laboratory. Repair that laboratory. We've got a whole bunch of envoys that I haven't been spending. I think I'll take Susan T of Muscat, Badoosh, um, and Venice, Badoosh, Anshan, Skadoosh. That's a lot of science there. There's like 200 science per turn from Anshan. Machenjadaro, we'll take. I mean, Nalanda or whatever that one is called that I really like is on. I'm gonna take Samarkand away from Catherine. That's mine, thank you. I read 581 tourists, so, you know, it's really just a matter of, like, continuing to execute upon this, like, silly little game that I'm playing. 
Uh, having fun, having a great time, getting all my thoughts out there. Also, here's a fun question. How many people watching this are in therapy? Now there, when I say that's a fun question, I don't mean like that's a woohoo fun question, but more like a interesting to know. Why are you in therapy? What? You don't have to give me like details, but like, what's the goal? Happier? Less happy? Listen, I want to go to therapy to be less happy, all right? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But like, I'm just curious. How many people talk to a therapist? Is your therapist good? It's a question. It's a valid question. You ever, here's a fun, here's a question. Cause I just remembered a time that I offended a therapist, a counselor, because then I made, I made an, an incorrect assumption about their qualification. I thought they were still a student. So I was like, I, I said, like, you're not a fully qualified diddly scooper, whatever, whatever his thing was. Scooby-doo, bop, 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 bop. Let's take away some focus on production for a little while. I want to grow this city. It's only 11 pop. So that feels a little weak. We're going to grab ourselves a sewer to keep growing. Builder completed in cash market. Oh yeah, all these forests are finally getting tended to. Um, go ahead and get me the cistern. <laughs> I would take your sister too. No, <clears throat> uh, this is a family friendly YouTube series. <laughs> Let me tell you, me and your mom, <laughs> we're real friendly. Down to our last few builders. Well, that's feeling good. And I'm feeling good. Let's settle right here. Buy this oil and this oil. And I guess we'll buy a builder to improve both and build a refinery. We need that oil. We need that oil. Uh, we're making about 1800 gold, 1900 gold per turn. Apologies, I will seek elsewhere to settle. So apparently the city of Chan Chan has rebelled in my favor. We will, we will take control of that in a moment when the turn is finished rolling over. Turns are long. Turns out. Turns are long, turns out. <laughs> God. Do you know what that kind of realization does to you at 4, 4.30 when you forgot to put on the laundry? Because I was literally thinking, all right, I'm going to finish up this episode. I'm going to be done with this YouTube video. And then I'm going to go hang up my laundry. And I'm just like, the laundry is just sitting there. And I never turned on the machine. <laughs> God, why do I do this? Why do I do that to myself? Uh, pharmaceutical plant plus 0 0.5 food per turn for each citizen in the city. Now that's interesting. But it does cost more. But it does cost you gold per citizen. Very cool. Very cool. Let's learn synthetic materials. Let's do it. Okay, manufacturing completed in Gabriel. Um, do I want the chemical plant? No strategic resources in this base, so I will go for the factory. We got the stock exchange and trade hub. I think the Grand Hotel could be fun, but I will quickly build the amusement pier for amenities. Uh, we got the fertilizer plant down here, so now we can create fertilizer products. It could be an interesting move. Ooh, we can create machines. Let's do it. Make those machines, make those machines. I'm a man made of machine. Oh, hurry. All right, we'll research some of these tacks. We're pretty close to a victory, pretty close to the W. Let's create some machine products for machine men. Machine men with machine minds. Rum, bum, 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 flash. Ah, builder of the universe. Dun, 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 flash. Ah, the savior of the universe. He'll save every one of us. Ah, oh, please don't make me go unhinged with my music. Right, we're at 686 tourists for the victory. Come on, baby. Stay on target. 686. Nice. There's plastics, all that stuff. Uh, renew mission on the commercial hub. 686 changes to 6720. Orchard completed in Nina. Um, let's go for the sewer. I'm going to take off production focus and say, you need to grow, my good sir. Grow. We'll get the sewer in here and grow as well. We need to grow these cities. Grow. Let's get the nuclear power plant. Nuclear. It's pronounced nuclear. 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 Because it has to do with the nucleus. All right, nice. There's synthetic materials. 720, 756. We're getting closer to the W. May as well go for. Well, we never even looked at battery power station. Never got to the renewable. What's this? Automatically converts any amount of renewable battery charges into power for cities within six tiles that is needed each turn at the rate of one renewable battery charge per to one power. Its production bonus is extended. So this is a building. So how do I make renewable battery charges? So decommissions the current power plant, replaces it with a battery power station. Well, I don't know how to make renewable battery charges. That's what I'm confused about. I assume they come from... Ah, let's see. 
So, unlocks the builder ability to construct an offshore wind farm. Provide plus two power per turn to renewable wind sources. Um, extra plus one power and plus two gold if built in the ocean. Predictive systems is unlocked. You get an extra power. If a battery substation building is present in the, sy- the city, the extra power bonuses from terrain and technology will be granted as renewable battery charges instead. Oh, so this allows you to turn renewables into transferable uh, power, which is kind of a cool mechanic. There's just like a, kind of a little bit too much going on in this in this game. It's all very cool. It's just, it, there's a lot of it is my problem. We did build a food market in here and I'm now officially focusing on food. These five specialists here are giving me 20 food, 20 gold, 10 production. That's pretty crazy. One thing I do like is how easy, like it's easier to grow big, tall cities. I'm going to take the modern art gallery and the recycling plant. I don't know if we're at shift and en- I think we're at shift enter. I think it's time to shift enter our way to the game. So we just got our first mass produced fertilizer actually. Now this is something I'm kind of curious about. So I want to put this into the city of Cusco. So can I find, well, first of all, can I find this great work that I just made? All right, here we go. No, I can't. Let me see. Can I find another city with like a decent amount of farms? Sousa. Let's say we put it into Sousa. I'm just going to buy a commodity exchange or what was the other one? I'll buy a stock exchange, right? Just level with me here. So I put this into Sousa. All the farms are giga huge now. So if I take a farm from Sousa, it loses two food. That's kind of cool. It's like the next tier up. I like it. It's a cool mechanic. It's kind of used in a very fiddly way, but it's 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 a cool idea. I don't know if I love it, but I am just going to shift enter my way through the end of the game because at this point, uh, we won. We conquered a continent. Mission accomplished. We got our tourism from buying the great works. Made all our money. Bought the great works. Built the stuff for it. Smart power doctrine. We're at 899 tourists. I wonder if I have like a big giga stack of tourists somewhere. Oh yeah, I do. I got 67 over here. It was a pretty nice amount. 46, 46 over there. 25 in the Temple of Artemis. Show me the tourism. Show me it. Oh, little, little prickles here or there. Little prickles. Okay, so I also built mass-produced parts. So if I put that into Susa as well, now if I swap this tile, oh yeah, now the farm gets plus two food and one production. That's actually sick as hell. Because like now farms are better in Sousa than anywhere else. That's really cool. Neat. Um, but I think one more one more roll of dice here. I say roll of the dice. Really, it's one more end of the turn. Uh, and that's a that's a W for Team Potato. Team Tater. Team Tater. All right, there we go. I think a W has been acquired. We have won the game. The video game has been completed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this modded series. Um, my opinion on the mods is that it makes a lot of really interesting changes to the gameplay. Some of the new mechanics are fun to play around with. It feels a little bit imbalanced, um, but it is fun. I don't think all of the changes are necessarily great. Um, I'd have to have a real think about it. I would have to have more than a single game's experience with it. Um, I do think it is a fun thing to do if you're looking to spice up your gameplay. You know, just like me and your mom spice up our... Units killed, Graf. Okay, I killed a lot of units this game. Player gold. Okay. Player science. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Player culture. I feel like I was pretty strong in the culture game. Actually, no, I wasn't at all. Uh, what, what, was I, what was I king of this game? I don't know. Cities founded, maybe? I did found a lot of cities. I did found a lot of cities. What about capturing cities? I captured a lot of cities, too. Uh, war is declared. Wonders constructed. Units lost, total cities destroyed. Yeah, I don't know. Feel pretty good about that game. It was fun. Thank you guys very much for watching. I love you all very much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.